Inferno, California, located in the lush, fertile Eel River Valley of Humboldt County, a place where pasture and fresh air are abundant due to the mild coastal climate. The Eel River Valley is home to upwards of 50 dairies. This industry was and remains one of the biggest sources of income for families living within the area. My family established roots here over a century ago, making a living through the dairy industry. I am the fifth generation to have had the opportunity to grow up in this lifestyle. Throughout the years, a main struggle of the dairy industry was finding a consistent pay price. Many small family farms could not support themselves from on-farm income alone. With the ever-changing waves of the industry, from weather patterns, technology changes, or niche markets, the dairy industry must conform and grow with these changes. Since the Eel River Valley has a long-standing dairy history, Humboldt Creamery was established in 1929 in Fernbridge, California. Most dairies within the area ship their milk to Humboldt Creamery due to convenience and to support local business. In 2009, Humboldt Creamery underwent a major fraud case, resulting in devastating financial hits for most of the dairies who had shipped to them for generations. With such an awful event came a great blessing for our small herd. The producers were searching for a steady pay price, while the consumer demand for organic products was rapidly expanding at this time. The answer seemed simple. In 2009, we began the transition to organic. We first certified our land in 2009, followed by the cows in 2012, through California Certified Organic Farmers, otherwise known as CCOF. During this time, the number of certified organic dairies tripled. These farms made the transition for some of the same reasons we did, to ensure financial stability and longevity for our operation for generations to come. We have been members of the Organic Valley Co-op since May of 2012. This farmer-owned co-op began back in 1988 by a group of forward-thinking farmers who believed in family farms producing quality products while instilling sustainable practices and stewardship of the land. The north coast of California is an ideal place to implement this practice due to the abundance of pasture, rich soils, moderate summers, mild winters, and heavy rainfall. In order to be compliant with the USDA's organic standards, cows must be allowed to graze while receiving 30% of their dry matter intake from pasture for a minimum of 120 days during the grazing season. This rule complies well with the area and the resources available, making it a smooth transition for our herd. One struggle the organic producers face is the ever-growing demand for organic products. Unlike conventional milk, which is constantly flooding the market due to overproduction, the organic industry has a demand so large that it has been hard to fill thus far. This has led many large dairies to transition their herds. The majority of the larger dairies, with upwards of 1,000 cows, are located in the Central Valley of California, where pasture is not as readily available due to hotter summers, lack of water, and dense agricultural operations and populations. These facilities are typically freestall type facilities, not allowing enough pasture to support the USDA's pasture rule. The organic label has a precedence and a premium behind it, which must be looked at and complied with on all levels to allow for customer satisfaction and trust in the product they receive. The ability to access fresh pastures is one of the factors that makes the demand for organic products so high. With dairies cheating the system, it is in turn negatively affecting the organic industry as a whole. Certifications and regulations are essential in the organic process, even though it may require more paperwork, time in the office, and collaboration between employees and outside agencies. These regulations are a main factor in the ability for organic producers to receive a consistent pay price. As the organic industry continues to thrive, it is important to maintain premier status of the organic label so that the consumers will continue to support organic dairies. The organic movement has been one of the best choices my family has made and gives me hope our dairy can be passed on for generations to come.